When you make music and when you make videos, like that's only talent, you know. They always say I heard somebody say that, you know, but in the music industry is twenty percent talent and eighty percent um marketing, you yeah. know. We call ourselves city but we global and everybody that has a voice is allowed to be vocal. How do you feel like your music inspire people though? Um, bro, honestly I feel like I feel like like a lot of my music is um it inspires people to be vulnerable. It inspires people to um, be open. It inspires people to to um, be different. Yeah. It inspires people to just, you know, um, show love, um, love one another, show support. Um, I also got songs where um, I talk about I talk about the things that can come from violence or the things that can happen in the situations. You know. Yeah. Um, we you, got, just, you got a few songs. You, you talk about drugs. Talk about drug use. Um, yeah, so we talk about basically. I talk about that stuff as in terms of you know situations that happen. I don't just talk about um, you know running down on somebody and um, killing their whole family. We talk about what happens to the neighborhoods after you yeah. kill their families. We talk about um, you know what happens to you. You know how you must be feeling, who you let down. So we talk about all. We don't just you know. I talk about. We do talk about those type of things. Um, but it's a bigger story to it, and it's always yeah, a bigger yeah. picture. You know, every song I try to paint a picture. Yeah. So that's pretty much what it is. I think, like you said, I think I, I'll categorize you. If I would categorize you, I put you in the category of, uh, you know, rappers that make that that real pain pain music. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you talk facts. about a lot of hurt. You talk about, like you said, opening up and and, and really letting people into um into your life. You know what I'm saying through your music. Yeah, bro. I like I like to be cuz I like to be connected and in tune with my feelings. You feel me? I don't like to I don't like to hold stuff in. I don't like to not tell people stuff that I I care about. I don't like to I don't like to um harvest feelings. I always feel like I got to express myself whether I'm mad, whether I'm, you know, so the fact that I could do that through my music is just I feel like honestly, I feel like it's a blessing. You know? Have you have you ever been in in a situation where you opening up like that has um has hurt you has has left you um, um at a disadvantage? Um, in terms of what? What do you mean hurt me? Like have I got? Yeah, like have you ever? Okay, I'll say have you ever put your trust into someone or or people um mm -hmm. about yourself about letting people in? It could be friends. It could be it could be family. It could be enemies. But have you ever opened up in a way where um, the reciprocation wasn't? Oh yeah, plenty wasn't of times. positive. You know that's that's happened. That's what that's happened with girls I've talked to. You know that's happened with um, friends. You know people that you fall out with. Yeah. Um, anytime you're in a situation where you love somebody or you care about somebody more than they care about you, it's always going to be dishonesty there's always going to be friction so um i felt like i was put in i was put in those positions enough times you know mm -hmm. i felt like that i felt like that just about my football coaches i felt like that about my parents at times you know yeah, yeah. Um, but um you just it's up to you to pick and choose the ones that you want to keep and the ones that you got to let go so yeah it's just been a whole lot of that so it just and i just put in my music put in my music everything that happens put in my music um everything like it don't even gotta be it don't even gotta be um situations that I go through. You yeah. know, I hear situations my homeboys tell me, we talk about, you know, and I just put in my music. That's that's all it is. So All right. Uh let, let, I'm gonna get a little a little a little personal on the details that we don't know. Okay. Uh J Wall, where'd you get that name? J Wall. Um my homeboys in middle school, they had called me, like, they used to call me Jay Wallace. Because my first name is Jalen, my last name is Wallace. Yeah. Um, and then as I got older, like, eighth, ninth grade, they started calling me Jay Wall. Started making it shorter. Mm. And then that just stuck. And then they've been, and then football, you know, everybody got nicknames. So Jay Wall was my nickname. Yeah. And then people just kept calling me Jay Wall through middle school, high school. Yeah, it's just been that. Okay, so it was pre it was pretty much yeah. made for you. That's pretty much your nickname. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, Jalen Wallace. All right. Um, and and you've been you've been making music for what like two three years. Um, this is 
this actually will be my this it just passed the year in March. oh it's just a year yeah it just passed okay. the year in March that I've been making music okay um my last album that I dropped was just in November so okay. I got two I got two um complete albums mm -hmm. two booklets um within the last six months and the la like only been six months after I started rapping you okay know? so and then and then the recent single for you the thing that's doing numbers right now i think it's 20 20 23 shots 21 kills. bullets yes 21, 21 bullets. bullets you got yeah. like you that's like 480k yeah and it's still running up you know um and all the other songs are just trickling up trickling up trickling up what do you think what's 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 with that song why you think it's doing so well is it credit to your um, to your um promotion of i feel it? like i feel like um First, 21 Bullets, before that, before 21 Bullets, I think I dropped a song called Overseas. From Overseas to 21 Bullets, um, it's a major difference. 21 Bullets is, I dropped that song because I wanted them to feel what the album was going to feel like when yeah. it dropped. Um, 21 Bullets is like, versus the last Overseas, it's that sound. 21 Bullets is the sound of my album. That's how it sound on the album. Okay. It's the mic is, the, the volume it's is pretty correct. Much a the sample. mic is more crispier, you know. Yeah. It's the same delays, the same reverbs. So it's literally the sound. Um, so I feel like, and also 21 Bullets, bro, like that's the first song where I also told myself, I'm, I'm not getting no less than 30K. You know, my songs right. is too, too, I feel like my songs are too good to be getting this low. And I, I also came to a realization that um, I had to put money behind my music. If I wanted to go far, if I, this yeah. is what I wanted to do, um, I had to put money behind it. So 21 Bullets was actually like the first song that I put promotion behind. I only put like $50 in promotion behind that song. Yeah. And um, it just took off. So Yeah, every song, every song. I think when, you know, a, when you have a great song, you need to put money behind it for sure. And, uh, you know, these guys know we've had that conversation um, just recently with, with, with a few artists. Yeah. Um, I, I think, you um, you know, because interestingly enough, an artist most artists would pay more for the music video of their songs than they pay for the actual promotion. Promoting your song, even if you're popping off in Palm Beach, somebody somebody in Georgia don't know who you are. That's what I'm saying. And also, oh, that's what I was saying. Make, when you make music and when you make videos, like, that's only talent, you know? They always say, I heard somebody say that, you know, in the music industry, it's 20% talent and 80% um, marketing, you yeah. know? Um, so... Like I've been, I haven't, but I have not been just putting money into just sucking it up and putting money into my music. But yeah, that's pretty much you. You hit it on the dot, bro. Yeah, so. but you you you're not far off. I mean, you've been rapping for a year. I I took it that you were doing it a little longer. For a year, you've 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 got some, and and you've self produced. You way ahead of the game. I'll be real with you, and then, um, it won't be long before everybody know who you are. Nah, bro. Especially with, with with promoting everything the right way, and 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 you got a solid team around you and nah, stuff factual. like that. Um, you know, they say the greatest people in the world got a team. So yeah. I just keep my homeboys close, and we always just chop it up, and mm -hmm. we just we when it comes to the music, they know that I'm gonna deliver the music, and they just consult me on how 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 we can get it to move. You know, and um. Man, 2020 for real, bro. We're gonna we picking up the pace, bro. We're doing a lot of videos. We're doing um, a lot more visual creative content. Um, you know, we're gonna touch more places. We're gonna be getting booked, performing as soon as this coronavirus thing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so it's just I can't wait for people to hear what I got next and yeah, hear what yeah, I got yeah. next. And, you yeah, know. this this is a great time. Um, it's a great time for creators to um to really plan ahead and and and, and no um, strategize uh what's your um what's your uh executive stuff like right now you got a ma you got management and stuff like that um so i don't got management um i got no manager right now um i just got homeboys you feel yeah. me yeah it's just it's just us um they give me a lot of they talk to me a lot um they make sure that I just stay me. You feel me? Yeah. Um, I'm at a I'm a, I'm at a place right now too, bro, where I'm 
I'm I'm not big enough to where I need a manager. What are they managing? You feel me? Mm -hmm. I, I upload all my music. I already make my music. You don't got to book me for a studio session. You don't got to tell me who to talk to, who not to talk to, because yeah. I'm trying to be on. I'm not going to talk to the wrong people. So until that, until that workload becomes to the point where it takes away from the music, mm -hmm. that's when I'll start, I'll start saying, okay, you know, this is, I need to start looking for a manager. But um, I've also hasn't met nobody yet besides my homeboys that got the best interest for me, you feel me? No, that's fine. Somebody always wants something, you know? Yeah, there's no need to force something like that or bring somebody in that, that don't know where you're coming from. Exactly, outside the circle, so. Yeah. Okay, yeah. what about long term? What about long term? Are you, are you, is the goal for you to, to continue this thing and, and, and make it independently? And um, I, I would love to make it independently, you know? Um, I honestly, I, w I would love to make it independently, but if the right deal comes up and it looks right and the, the contract got looked over right and it's to where that me and the label, whoever I sign to, can both benefit. I'm I'm about signing, and I'm also about making it all the way independent. You know, we got a lot of we got a lot of artists in the game that have made it off the strength of being independent. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't know, bro. It's tough because in Palm Beach and Florida, it's a lot of hatred and it's a lot of lust. You know, mm -hmm. I feel like in the environment that I'm in, I feel like I it will be it will be a lot harder to make it out independent in Palm Beach yeah. than as it were to New York, as it were to ATL, as it were to you know, Cali, um, yeah, all yeah. these powerhouse places. Um, so I don't know, bro. I would sign. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. I've, I've asked that question before. That's probably like the best point I've, I've heard somebody made. Um, yeah, I think Palm Beach is just. Um, it's not even it's tough, yeah. but it's not even. I wouldn't even say it's Palm Beach. I would say I'll give you South, South, South Florida. I'll say I South would Florida. say it's. I would say it's whole Florida. Yeah. Look okay. at look at look at Georgia, Atlanta. You know, Atlanta. Them boys stick together. Uh, four PF rock with future, future rock with YSL. You know, everybody's mm -hmm. linked in, and they all under P. You yeah. know, New York, New York. All them boys represent each other. You know, Casanova and Pop Smoke had beef, but Pop mm -hmm. Smoke passed away. So you know that was squashed. You know, they squashed stuff when he was alive. You know, because yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody's from the same stomping grounds, and you know, all them boys. It's we're in a game where all everybody has a, a plate at the table, you know. Mm -hmm. Everybody could eat if you just let everybody eat. But if everybody trying to snatch each other fork and knife, nobody could eat. Yeah, you know. So that's just what it is. So that's okay though. It makes it tougher, you know. Kodak, Kodak came out of Florida and he's sitting strong. You feel me? He yeah. opened, he opened stuff up for Jack Boy, you know. So it just. I think Kodak ain't Kodak make it out independently. Um, nah, he got signed. I believe he got signed. Okay. I think Kodak I think he signed. got pretty pretty big. But he got before. far. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm pretty, saying. Pretty he got pretty far, far, but mm -hmm. Kodak also had hood love. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Hood love carries you a long way. You know? No, um, for sure. So and everybody you can't bank on hood love sometimes. You can't bank on the people no. in your city sometimes. You know? Yeah, you might uh, die, much you might you wanna, die before you make it up. That's what I'm saying. As much as you want to represent them, you know? And even when you make it, they want to represent you now. But sometimes it doesn't go like that. You know? yeah. And sometimes you just gotta You gotta go south You gotta go north And you gotta touch other people Before your own city Will come back and embrace you Yeah So Alright dope man I'm gonna I'm 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 end with with, uh, with this question uh, Of what do you got next And um, You know Are we gonna be uh, Seeing more More project Projects like you have here um, Or are we gonna start seeing um, a, a difference in your strategy um, you're gonna be seeing it's gonna be it's always gonna be a difference in my strategy, you know. Um, cause everything changes every day. I think the next couple the next couple of weeks and for the rest of the year actually, uh, we're gonna have a lot more visuals. Last year I made a lot of songs. I told myself I want to have a lot of music out there so I could solidify myself. Um, I got that now. I feel like I'm I'm. I've I could hold myself up now just off the strength of my projects. You know, yeah. I dropped seventeen songs, um, so I feel like now it's time for visuals. You know, um, I paint pictures in my songs, and now we got to paint them in real life. We have yeah. to put um, the production together. We gotta you know bring people out and make people feel a part of something. Um, if people don't feel a part of something, they won't believe in what you believe in. They won't want to see what you have going on. They won't feel a part of the success. You know, so. 
that's what we got to start doing. We got to start, you know, we got to really start being in the front lines, getting stuff out there, you know, um, passing flies out, yeah, just yeah. hitting the streets, you know, getting it from all angles, you know, because mm -hmm. sometimes social media is not enough. Some Social media can't bust everybody. Yeah. And if you try to look for that social media bust, sometimes you get stuck, you know. Um, so that's how you got to do it. So that's it's just a whole lot of a whole lot of forwardness. That's what yeah. I like to call it, a whole lot of forwardness. No, yeah, yeah. for sure. You got to keep pressing forward, man. Yeah. You got to keep pressing forward. I know the current situation we are in with this pandemic and everything and yeah. the political atmosphere and stuff like that. It's a it's a weird time to move. I know a lot of guys had moves they were trying to make maybe yeah. had had things they were trying to strategize but then you kind of have to angle angle yeah. it differently i even thought about um not dropping my album because of the pandemic because you know when you they say when you know when you make music it it connects to memories and people fall in love with your music off of memories and if you can't if you got these albums coming out and they're not fitting the vibes yeah. of what's going on you know everybody's sitting in their house they're just gonna listen to the cuts and the stuff that they know you know yeah um like Pop Smoke's album. Pop Smoke's gonna drop an album, but do you wanna listen to Pop Smoke in your bed or do you wanna listen to him in the club with your boys and y'all right. are wooed up? You feel yeah, me? So yeah. it's 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 kinda tough for artists. It conflicts them because, you know, they wanna give people what they've been working on, but it's it's a different battle of will they receive it in the way that the artist wants them to receive it. Exactly. Yeah, music is definitely a reflection of the times. That was that was spot on. Cause like, yeah, you could probably remember your your best childhood summer. Um, from the song that was playing that summer, you That's know what, what I'm saying? saying, and you know people can can remember the the a recession or a depression based on the that's music at I'm the saying, time. So that, that's that's perfectly said, well said, man. Jay Wall has been a pleasure. Um, yes, sir. It's, it's uh, I heard your music for the first time this week when we started scheduling this interview, it, and and you've made a fan out of me. I can't wait to see what what you and your squad do. Nah, bro. Um, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, man. I appreciate it. Um, to meet again, all platforms. I appreciate everybody that's been tuning in. Keep tuning in. We got a music video this week. Boynton Beach Inlet, 2 o'clock. Um, we're going to be out there. Uh, you know, mask up if you want to mask up. But <laughs> we're we, we going to be out there. And it's going to be a live year, bro. Thank you for having me, bro. So, yes, sir. Blessings and elevation. Yes, sir. Changing the youth media. We are. We are. City.